Today's episode is gonna be so good because we gonna be clapping Clayman's ass because he's been talking so much disrespect, so much fake news, trying to say that, hey, this slime, you know, he's, he's the one that's like puppeteering everything. And, he, and him being a demon lord is like a bad thing for us because it makes us look bad. But everyone around the table, every demon lord is like... Boring, because everyone knows that's fucking bullshit, and everyone just wants to see Clayman actually get ruled. I think, besides the whole Clayman uh, plotline, seeing all the other demon lords that were kind of really hyped up right in the beginning, not just like the regular demon lords, but the four extra ones. Who were they, right? The female vampire demon lord in the past that Veldra was very you know, going toe to toe against. Luminous, you know, the maid that's behind, you know, uh, Valentine right now. We have the giant guy as well. We have Dino, the sleeping dude, and then the fourth one. Who was it? Shit, I'm forgetting. But they're very important, right? And it's kind of setting up the stage for the future seasons. Now, we got to beat Clayman, and I think that Veldra came to save us. I hoped it was Gopta, right? I wish... Could you imagine if Gopta was the one that was summoned there? And, like, you know, protected Rimuru against Milim? Probably impossible, but in my head canon, that was Gopta. Anyways, let's see what Veldra's going to do today. Mm. What's up, Veldra? <laughs> yeah, it sucked, yeah. <laughs> デイムよ。お主も大概ひどいな。まあいい。要件はこれが何なんだ。デリフィニッシュ。何なんだってはないぞ。こんないいところでお預けなど。僕もどうなるのだ。お前まさかそれを読みたいがために。やっぱり。い
A place. A place. Y'all want to come chill with us? Yeah? Yeah. Who do you pick? So you're going back to Ramiris then. Then you're under Rimuru then. Yeah. I just fucking come over. What's Clayman doing right now? What's happening right now? What is Clay is Clayman outside? Who's Clayman fighting? What has he? What has he been doing the entire time? I just feel like what? Is he outside a barrier? Did he just like let his like people come in? Shion. Shion rushed the fuck out of him, right? Shion fucked him up, and then I think they're, they're fighting in the background somewhere. We haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sure, you can! That's what Ken uses, right? Tatsumaki Senpu is the, the spinning kick, right? Hadouken is the, you know, the classic energy wave that, you know, um, Ryu and Ken also uses in Street Fighter, yeah? Clayman, Clayman. Clayman is struggling against Shion. And, like, I'm not trying to disrespect Shion. But like, if you as a demon lord cannot even compete with she on her secretary, that says a lot about you, Clay Man. Yep, true, true. Soul Eater. Spiritual damage? Just like Hinata is able to attack the soul through her dead and the rainbow. Yo, Soul Eater, we can, we can do soul damage too. That's kind of significant. Yeah! Okay, so we must have made it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Based off the inspiration off of that, cool. Ooh. Really? Fan service. <laughs> Come on, bro. This is embarrassing, bro. Because he's saying, this is what I used on Millen to control, right? Well, on top of the necklace, this is what he's kind of implying, right? But it's like, she was never under control. True. True form? Let's see it. <laughs> Did he have to do that? Like, <laughs> that's such a dramatic. Like... <laughs> it looked like he was kind of struggling there, ripping off his jacket too. Like, there, there were some frames there where it looked like he was actually struggling. Oh, God. Oh! New form? Cool? Alright! Like, I, like, no one actually sees him as a demon lord, right? It's like a fucking title that he's just throwing around. He's not even a true demon lord. Does he even have the fucking seed of the demon lord, bro? He's spitting a lot. There's a lot of saliva. Mask? Cool, okay. <laughs> Fuck him up, Shion. Crazy Pierrot. <laughs> Oh! A lot of different hands doing different shit. <laughs> Bro, what happened? All that talk. Bro took off his fucking jacket, had a fucking 10 minute monologue about how he's never used his form in a while, and he was like, Oh, I will defeat you now as a Mao. No. Crazy Piero Kudei, man. Immediately gets clapped, bro. Have you no shame? Rimuru is not even fighting him yet. I forgot how much Shio just bodied him without Rimuru's help. You gotta phase three or what, bro? 
Behead him! <laughs> Fighting on a scale that he can't even comprehend. Our sworn friend. More Street Fighter moves. Oh, wait! Ah! Yo, where's the copyright? <laughs> Sky Queen, Frey! Oh, yeah, we can't do anything, right? It's part of the rules. Wait, um, when uh, Minim was fighting Clay, uh, Carry On and she went into battle mode, that is separate from Stampede, right? Stampede is different from the battle mode, or are they the same thing? Because the Stampede is like the self-defense mechanism that activates when it things gets bad, right? So it's a separate thing? Gotcha. Peek? Oh! She's back! Not that she was ever gone, but hey, all part of the plan, right? Ooh. She almost counts as a friend, too? Never. Yeah, it was all part of the plan. But, like, he actually was. Everyone kind of was, like, hinting, like, yo, like, he's not really under control. But Rebooter every time was like, oh, my God, Bill's under control. And Raphael was like, bro, are you serious? <laughs> Clay Man just so shocked. <laughs> yo. Geek Crimson also said that, too. <laughs> Lumin is still nothing. Lumin is still nothing. Like, she has yet to react to anything so far, bro. Luminous is so mysterious. And I guess that's the whole point, right? We want to... Well, people say that's, like, part of her personality. But it's, like, the girl on the bottom right, like... She's the one of the most interesting things here. And, like, we will just never know until season three in a couple weeks, huh? Or, like, a week or so. The voice acting from Dio is so fucking good. It's so good. Oh! <laughs> Very good. Karyon, do your thing. He did! He just admitted it, his crimes! Trash. Karyon, take your mask off and shock Clayman even more. Yep. No way! Karyon is alive! Yeah. <laughs> the most passive aggressive sigh from Raphael. And like, they're intensely making Rimuru to be a bit little slow, right? Because I think like, when everyone entered, like, the dialogue, the commentary, everyone's reaction was like, yeah, that's probably Karyon. But then Rimuru was always like, nah, that can't be. Another sigh. <laughs> Still kind of fucked up. That Milim really just destroyed Eurasania. Like, I understand she was playing according to plan, right? The whole plan was Frey was like, you, we should just act like, you know, Clayman is like, you know, controlling you so that we can set the stage up for Walpurgis and we can just catch it with his pants down. But like, did you have to destroy Eurasania? <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. It's just, it's, I, to make it more believable. Yeah, that, that's the whole thing. It wouldn't be have believable if we didn't destroy your city. <laughs> Nobody died. They're all refugees. They're safe in Tempest. But like, you know, like, did, we, did you really have to do all of that, Miller? <laughs> Sky Queen lied to you. <laughs> Betray? Betray? Ooh, that's a classic Eisen line. Since when were you under the assumption that I was ever on your side? Ooh. Holy shit, Shio! Oh my god, the animation! Yo, Shion is getting a lot of love right now. Like, I don't think we get that much Shion scenes other than Rimuru just like, you know, booby fan service with Shion. Other than that, there was a season one content where Shion fucked, you know, uh, people up against Geld and them, right? But like, damn, Shion is getting a lot of fucking love because she died and we resurrected her, right? She came back. But damn, like, she is popping off at Wild Progress, man. Right? Like, this is a really important stage that I was like, even like, yo, maybe Diablo should be going instead of Shion, but like, nah, Shion's holding it down. 
<laughs> Key Crimson's just so bored. <laughs> it's over? Uh, whoa, 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 see? See? The ground is changing again. It, it, is that his powers? Yeah? Okay. Sky Queen. Ooh. Wow. Dragon Knuckles! Dragon Knuckles! Meeting's favorite toys. That nerf, sir. Cap. No, you didn't. Okay, the giant didn't know. Okay, so Leon Cromwell knew the entire time. The giant didn't know? <laughs> Ramirez didn't know? Did Dino know? Uh, Dio's sweating a little. He didn't know either. Dino didn't know either. <laughs> this is our Mabudachi's gift, right? You got the Dragon Knuckles made for her. And the Dragon Knuckles, like, nerfs her. Since the beginning, bro! <laughs> <laughs> the no, no, yeah, no shit. <laughs> Finally. You fucked up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you weren't under his control, right? So you had no reason to go and destroy my nation, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Oh, it was just a prank, bro. What do you mean? I mean, in terms of power scaling, I think that it's safe to say in, in this table, Karyon might be one of the lowest, right? Like straight up, who was here that's like, like weaker than Karyon? Clayman for sure. But like, you think Dino's weaker than him? Hell no. You think Luminous? No. Valentine? No. Gi? No. Rimuru? No. Sky Queen Frey? Yeah. Probably just Frey, right? Frey and Clayman. They're fucking bottom three, right? Yeah, she did. Just a prank. An entire nation was destroyed and their people had to be evacuated to be refugees in Jura Tempest. Do you think that's a little detail? Just shut up. <laughs> just shut up. All right, all right. True, it's Clayman's fault. Yeah, it's Clayman's fault. Fuck him up more. Yeah, everything is good, even though your nation's destroyed. Wait, you're using Clayman's men as laborers? <laughs> Yeah, think of it as a renovation. We're gonna get a better city. Ooh. And like the other demon lords witnessing this while, you know, Karion and like Rimuru are showing, you know, mutual respect. It's kind of a big deal, right? This has got to be rising the, I don't know, the image that everyone sees as Rimuru. Like it's not just some slime. He's able to just like be strong. You can just, you know, unite with other demon lords. He's kind of friends with, you know, Milim. He's fucking Veldra's sworn friend. We got Garion, Sky Queen, Phrase here too. Like, hey, it's looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah, thank me for destroying your town. Yeah. <laughs> Kuro, Diablo, Diablo. Noir, oh, Rimuru doesn't know, Rimuru doesn't know. Hmm? How much more revenge can we have though? We already fucked up his castle, his men, like it's just his last breathing moments right now. Laplace is right! He fucking warned you, and you said no, fuck Laplace. Laplace was right. Yep. But isn't there like a third phase? Hold up. It's not over yet, right? Backstory? Backstory. Harlequin Alliance. Clayman is weaker than them all. Really? <laughs> Yo, he, he just wanted their acknowledgement? 
He just wanted the attention of the clowns? Yuki, Yuki, Yuki. Guildmaster. Yeah, it's him, it's him, it's him. Kazarim, that's right. But you skipped the part. We skipped the part on why you could like that's why I want to make this world mine. So the Grandmaster, the Guildmaster, it's the same title. He's, he is also a guild leader too, or Guildmaster, right? So Yuki wants to control over the world. Why though? Other than just simple power trip. Like there must be a deeper reason than just like, oh, I want to control the world for the sake of being the strongest. <laughs> And that did happen. That did happen. How did he end up resurrecting him? How? Because, like, we just saw Kazarim in an elf body, which is like a homunculi. But it's like, do we know exactly how they got the... Don't spoil, don't spoil. But it's like, he somehow was able to resurrect Kazarim by getting the soul and implant. How did he even get the soul? What the fuck? Is Yuki the final boss of this show? Is Yuki the final boss? We'll spend the rest of our lives having fun. He doesn't, like, it doesn't sound bad, but it's just like, I want to know more about his intentions, his flashback, his motivations. Mm. In the past, when he was a man? Kara Kazarim, not Karazim. I ain't gonna feel bad for you, bro. Just fucking transform already so we can clap your ass. Just give me power. He's wishing for it? And then? How does this work, though? Why did it, like, sometimes the, the word of the world is just, just able to just, like, grant you shit because you desire it so much. I never, we never got an explanation of how this works, right? But Clayman basically saying, I don't care, just give me infinite power, right? And then the fucking, the world just, like, grants it. The, the system just, like, grants it. Why, though? Here we go. Ooh, ooh, scary. The ending song is playing. Justice plan? Bullshit, what? Really? Raphael's plan. Oh, to release the souls rather than be used to, you know, uh, enact the true demon lord awakening. Okay, so there was a huge plan to save the souls. Okay, okay. Finally, Rimu is gonna fight. I think they already do recognize you, bro. Nah, I'd win. Leon probably is very interested. Look at that walk. Ooh, scary. When you monologue. That's death flag! The voice acting is immaculate though. And that's the episode. We got one more left until we're finished with this re-reaction of slime. And goddamn, these couple episodes, these, these episodes have been fucking great, man. A lot of important things that I've forgotten, such as like uh what was it? Even like the fact that we baited Clayman into awakening so that we could like release the souls that he had a trap, right? Or even the fact that, like, Beretta was, like, a black demon, you know, Guy Crimson, you know, respecting everyone. And, like, the fact that, what's the word? Um, Milim is the son of Veldra's older brother. So, Veldra has an older brother and an older sister. That's three siblings. And I'm assuming there is one more sibling because there's technically four true dragons, right? And if I'm going to assume that they're all part of the Veldra family, then it's got to be, you know, another sibling that we haven't heard yet. So, Milim... We're, we're her uncle, huh? And that's pretty much it. Next episode, man, it's called Octogram. Don't know really what that means, but what I do remember is that we pretty much, like, beat Clayman in, like, such a satisfying way where he gets tortured for a long time, right? But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you'd enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.